of old vehicles used in that thing. And you had to do set dressing in order to make everything look like it was from 1941. So um, that, that's the problem. And then the actors all, okay, they're trying to make the thing look like it's a 1940s thing, so the women beefed up a bit. You know, the women yeah, there, they didn't look like they needed to be fed. They no, were I more know. curvaceous. And then uh, imagine they had to go lose that weight. But the the um, the money is in the uh, like the modeling mm -hmm. and the uh, special effects and the um, and the set work because the um, you know a, a, and then the asinine costumes that some of the people were wearing, folks. You know, like the guys got. 1941, and they're wearing uniforms from 2011. Well, you know, with so guns that would, could only have come from 2011, never from that's the That's the futuristic part. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. fantasy part. Yeah, and then they had, they, they total, you know, technically they total lost, um, they, they total lost track of comparison. They have wheels on the, they have the wheels on the flying wing that they had at the end of the movie, which mm -hmm. is actually the beginning of the movie, were a little bit bigger than Hugo Weaving when he walks by him. That means they're about six foot, maybe right. seven foot tall. Yeah. But we're talking, uh, so the vehicle itself was not as big as, you know, um, it, it was not as big as a, you know, as a, as an ocean liner. Mm. But this thing was as big as a city, folks. I mean, this thing was massive. Oh, you mean that the, it the flying like, wing? It looked like a stealth. Yeah, and look, what, that's what they call a flying wing when oh. I was young. But they also put, uh, they also forgot, they put rocket engines on a prop plane. Oh. Which basically would have tore the rock and wing, you know, tore the uh, engines off the plane. You mean when it was shooting? Yeah, they're just all kinds of minor things. That well, they that's why wrong. they have technical people and historical it's, people. It, it's called, it's why my grandmother had worked for a long time as a script supervisor. She would have noted the fact that when, it's, when the person was standing near the wheel, that the perspective looked wrong. So you don't have the guy stand anywhere near the, the, the mock-up that you're using. Yeah, because if you use the mock you can't tell. I mean, yeah, you know, so, you just, I mean, if, they, if it's okay, look. I look. I am back, mm -hmm. and she and she, if she moves forward, uh huh. See, as long as she doesn't stand and we don't stand together, you can't tell the size of something. Mm -hmm. but when you can, then you tell the size because see, as it is, I always look smaller because I stand behind this back here, and I and she stands forward. But um, I mean, she can tell you about the entertainment value of the thing. I went through my technical side again. You know what, as far as entertainment, it was fun. Yeah. Um, Stanley Tucci, I always loved to see Actually, Stanley, Stanley Tucci. Actually, Stanley Tucci looked the youngest. If you if you got that beard off, he looked like he and was he a looked, guy in his 30s. He did, he looked great. Um, but he's he supposed to be in his, you know, an old man, but you can tell this guy, you know, he was in, Stanley Tucci was really in good shape. He was in really, yeah, he was in really good shape. Haley Atwell, who I haven't seen before, she was um, Peggy Carter. Yeah, we can see what she's done before. Thanks to the miracle of computers, um, and, you know, she's a musician, you know, there are a lot of people, okay, we can see she still had the weight on. But the Duchess, uh, the pillars, pillars of the, the earth. earth. Oh, that's where she's had her and the prisoner. I see. I remember that. But uh, okay, so she, she's been she, kind of in fantasy movies. Before. Yeah, the line of beauty. She's fantasy stuff, actually. Yeah. And she's she's got such a little resume. She's got nothing about her other than the fact that she's music. Yeah, well, she was. She's not that old. Well, actually, she's almost thirty. Huh? Yeah, but most. So of she, she went to school and then went at acting. But if you look at the cast list, virtually everyone in his cast list, other than McDonald and so forth. Uh, Neil McDonald. McDougal. Neil McDoodle. He's from uh, Dustin McDon Hoffman. McDon yeah, McDonald. McDonald. But uh, and he's a really nice guy. These are all a god awful lot of uh, Canadians mm. and. Canadians and English. See, part of it, I love going to the movie theaters, um, but there's nothing like sitting at home on your big screen um, versus like sitting in a theater. Well, I love to watch them in 3D, and it's one of the things, it's like, if you like movies big and you want the pure, like, all-encompassing, yeah, okay. you got to see it at the theater. It's not like, but if I think of it like Transformers, 
Transformers, you have to see at the theater. This one, this one, this one will transform because it was 2D. It will transform. Yeah, it'll transform well, and you can see it. You know, and it's nice, but it's nicer and, on the big screen. And you won't have the the infuriating problem in the swish pans. Well, and the same thing um, with some of the other movies. But I mean, like Harry Potter. It's like yes, it's nice to see it on the big screen, but it it'll translate well into your home living room. Yeah, but uh, like I said, the Transformers will not transform well. Not as well, no. but that's the one you really have to see in the, in the yeah, theater. But, uh, um, but whether it's 3D or the IMAX 3D yeah, version. But uh, awesome. you know, it, it, as an entertainment experience, it was a fun movie. He doesn't. Well, I mean, actually, it's just like a typical American action movie. It, it yes. never stops moving, even when it's not moving. It's moving, you know, mm -hmm. because there's always something going on. And uh, okay, the the French call it the maison scene, which is mm -hmm. everything within the scene. Something is happening in the scene, like water dripping, or uh, people walking in and out of it. Even in a scene where there's only two people, there's things going in the scene, they're doing action. They're picking things up, drinking, cleaning things well, off. Well, you know, this movie's, what, 125 minutes for yeah. the, the running time? Um, sometimes in movies that are that long, they seem a little bit slow in certain areas. This never seems slow. No, but the, the, the big killer is the... I mean, first of all, anybody, I, from the very moment the movie started, mm -hmm. I smelled a rat. What do you mean? Uh, well, because um, they, they, they jumped, the tech, uh, opening technology was not there when Captain America first came out of retirement, folks, you know, as they say. Uh, but, um, so I knew they jumped it forward. And then... You know, you then jump to the anti, the double anti climax, two anti climaxes to it. The movie was over when the plane crashed. You know, when his plane crashed, and, and he, you know, basically, he, I, I find it amazing. He was he sunk in the ocean, and ended up on top of the, on top of everything. It's basically mm -hmm. sort of hard to figure out, but, but then they, they, you know, they ended the movie. Then, after the movie's ended, Samuel Jackson shows up. Then, after the credits run, you get to see uh, uh, another climax to it. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> it's, it's how you do a bad movie that um, uh, most of the people from my world hate when you have another, when, you, when you know, just like um, Harry Potter had an anticlimax after an anticlimax after an anticlimax. When you're done, you're done. It's almost like I think we should have done this earlier in the, you know, before we mm -hmm. did the credits and then attack it on after the credits. No, actually, I always think of that as the foresh it's like the extra treat for the audience or the foreshadowing of what's to come next. Well, yeah. It's for all those people that leave early before the credits finish, right? They never it, get it, to it, see it. No, but a lot of people on this type of thing, they'll stay to see the credits on a 3D movie more than they will on a 2D. As we noticed that people... And on a 2D movie, they filed out. Mm -hmm. But the people on 3D movie, because we were there standing out in front of the theater, and the people were staying to watch the, the credits on the Transformers. Mm -hmm. Everybody was in there virtually, except for one person, stayed to see the credits. So, mm -hmm. like I said, um, 3D is going to have an audience, whether, uh, you know, people, whether some of the producers, I love this, yeah, the Comic Con, you know. I'm never going to do a 3D movie ever again. But this movie was an excellent example of how 3D can actually be done. We did this, we did that, but I'm never going to do a 3D movie ever again because there's no market for it. But this is the most perfect example that I've ever seen of a 3D. I'm never going to do a 3D movie again. Well, you know, part. I know, wasn't that ridiculous? They're, you know, they're talking about how great their movie was. I think it has a future. <laughs> well, see, part of it is 3D gives the studios an, an additional revenue stream yeah. because then you have the 3D version, the 2D version, the, you know, the director's got the, you know, yeah, all basically of basically you've got cuts. a multiple, it's a, you can cross-generate money God, all over the place. Well, and the other part is, okay, I have to admit, I will go to the theater for special edition classes. Yeah, we did. I mean, you know. <laughs> we did. So, see, I, 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 well, why else do you think I want to... Um, stay up to go see a midnight showing and get home at 3 a.m. And then she's going to Comic Con in about uh, 45 minutes. She went to Comic Con, so it's got a, this, so we're we're going to be ending this. We're going to be wrapping this up real quickly. Technically, it's a typical World War. It's a typical World War II type movie that I would have worked. It would have been 
you could have taken the people over from combat, which I did a lot of German stuff on, and translated it into that movie, and it would have worked. Yeah. And so, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a fun movie. I enjoyed it. I'm glad I got to see it on the big screen. But if you've got a tight budget... Well, actually, it depends. See, part of it is you go to the movie theaters, depending on when you have the money and what's available. Yeah. And what movie you want to see. Is it an enjoyable movie? Um, better to see it in the movie theater than at home? 3D versus 2D? It's, I always watch, like, 3D better. Yeah. Sorry. But, uh, always. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, a 3D is still going to be a 3D is going to be best seen on as big a screen as you yeah. possibly have. And, you know, it's not going to do well on a 19-inch screen. No. Um, so I mean, we even have. I mean, we're that's sure. right. When you look at the 3D screens, most of them are all on the bigger screen. You yeah. don't have them in the 19, the 22, uh, and the no. 20, is it 29? They're usually like big. the 45. The They're showing all the demos on the uh, 55 uh, on, on the 40s up to 55. Mm -hmm. You don't sell 60s out here. You're not supposed to, but. You know, but I mean that's that's our review. So I mean, we'll, we're going to go see something else later. You know, probably begin. And I don't know what the next one coming up is going to be, but we'll give you a, probably cowboys and aliens later. Yeah, I think actually I think the most amazing part is the difference that he went in weight. Yeah, that, that wasn't. That was that was him. They let the rumor out that they put his head optically on, which actually is not that difficult to do. They do it all the time, but no, it's just him. And they reason. They obviously knew that, and the character, they were telling the people that, which is why no one wanted to roll. Oh. But see, at 165, he just basically looks like anybody else on the street. I mean, you wouldn't know Chris Evans from anyone else because he doesn't, he stands out at 190, mm -hmm. he's, and, but he does not stand out at 165. So. And when they when he lost the weight, he just looks like a smart, he just like a, a strong smiling. person. And yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, and they because the other guys were big to begin with. He when he went down to 145, he just didn't look. He made him look smaller against people that were norm, closer to his size. Well, you know, see, part of it is if you didn't actually have when when they made him bigger. Actually, we noticed it. When they made him bigger, I'm sitting there watching, it's like they take off his shirt and they do all this and they make him bigger. He still has his pants on and his They got and shorter. Buckled. They got shorter. Oh, did they? Because yeah, it's like they didn't tell him to like loosen up yeah, like that and it yeah, wasn't so like not fitting, so right? They didn't. There were errors made which should not have been made. Mm -hmm. but, <clears> you know, like in the Credible Hulk, you know, splits the he, pants. He tears or splits the pants. The guys went from. Tim, you know, went from Bill Bixby's legs like that, two legs like that, mm -hmm. and a waistline from like Bill Bixby's, which was probably about 30 inches, to yeah. a 38 inch waistline. Mm -hmm. So that would have basically wiped out the belts that was always going with Tim. So I guess until next time, you know, uh, this is all Tim. And this is not a spring chicken. We'll be watching you. Well, actually, we'll be sharing the next big 3D movie with you too. So for now, um, if for more information, you can find us on www.mightybubble.net on the net. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D, and thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet.